Hi, my name is Laura Gray. Welcome to day 16 of our Joy Advent series at Crosspoint. The title for today is Free to Be Part of God's Family. And the scripture verse is Mark 10, 45. Let's read that. The Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Take a walk down memory lane with me. Do you remember being on the playground? Uh, We were about to start a game. It could have been kickball or flag football. Um, But we were about to pick teams. So they would line us up in two lines. Um, There would be two captains, and they would take turns calling your name. Well, the chances are if you were not the biggest, fastest, or maybe most popular, you weren't going, going to be picked at the beginning. In fact, there was a good chance you could be picked last. That was always so nerve wracking to me. Uh, I physically would hold my breath until my name was called. And I just remember thinking, I don't want to be last because no one wants to be the last man standing. It just feels bad. Uh, knowing all eyes are on you and the world sees you as the last pick, it's just not a good feeling. So I firmly believe that the Lord wanted to do away with that feeling once and for all. Because he is such a kind father, he wanted to make a way for everyone to feel accepted, to feel wanted and loved, especially the least of these. To me, free to be a part of God's family represents the cross and how it came with our freedom. The blood of Jesus made it so that we can all belong to a family, his family, a perfect and complete family. I think of people who come from broken homes. I think of foster children, orphans, widows, widowers. I think of estranged families. And I think of people who just feel alone and don't feel like they have a family. The Lord knew that in this broken world, we were going to find ourselves in situations or positions like this. And so being the perfect creator he is, he made a way. He made a way for each of us to have access to him as our father and as part of his family. You see, belonging to Jesus and the family of God, that's the perfect family because he's the perfect father. Back to ransom. What is a ransom? At the end of Mark 10, 45, it says the son of man gave his life as a ransom for many. Ransom also means payoff, payment, or price. Jesus paid the payoff. His body made the payment and he paid the ultimate price so that we could spend eternity with him in his family. I always looked at big families and thought how nice it would be to have a lot of siblings. Uh, Lots of what I thought of as built-in friends. You see, I have one sibling, and not only are we five years apart, but my sweet younger sister has Down syndrome. So if I'm being honest, I longed for a different kind of sibling relationship than the earthly one I had been given. But you see, as I got older, I realized that we have brothers and sisters in Christ and that those relationships fill a different spot than sometimes our biological siblings do. So if Jesus gave his life for our sins and so that we could be part of his family, what kind of feeling does that invoke? Joy, perhaps? Joy that we are wanted? Joy that we are loved? Joy that we are made new? Joy that we are forgiven and promised eternal life. And when something evokes a positive feeling, such as joy, don't we want to tell others? I know I do. My prayer for each of you this precious Christmas season is that you remember the best, most perfect family that you are a part of. And when you think of our Heavenly Father, you can't help but feel joy. Joy in knowing that you are loved, you are wanted, and you are a child of the Most High. Let us pray. Perfect Holy Father, I pray over everyone watching that they experience you, that they come to accept and know the loving Father that you are. I pray that if anyone watching doesn't know you as their personal Lord and Savior, that they invite you in now. I pray for their health, their families, and Lord, I pray that they experience the joy it is to walk with and to know you. In your perfect, precious name, amen. Thank you for joining us today. We will see you tomorrow for day 17.